Well, turning now from brewing for charity to building for those in need, there's a new neighborhood under construction in Florence, but the homes aren't for sale. Now, you may have heard of tiny homes, and a village of them is being designed for the homeless who need a place to stay. Reporter Hollis Brescher visited the tiny homes and has more on how this village may help solve a statewide issue. No one should have to sit on the streets with sometimes nothing. Aiden Atkinson is not your typical 12-year-old boy. I wouldn't call on um, being a local celebrity. I would just be called someone who wants to help other people. While other kids his age are playing video games, Aiden just bought his first house. A tiny house, that is. And how did he do it? Aiden spent a year raising $22,000 through a GoFundMe, his very own golf tournament, and generous donations, making him the youngest of 24 local Florence donors that financially sponsored a tiny home for those experiencing homelessness. It makes me feel good because most kids wouldn't decide to do this. Most of them want like Xbox and stuff like that. Like some homeless kids just want to live in a, a warm shelter. And I really want um, to help um, people who really don't have as much as we do. As of January 2020, there were over 4,000 people experiencing homelessness in South Carolina, and 60% were residing in emergency or transitional housing. The nonprofit organization House of Hope created a neighborhood of 24 tiny homes in Florence to provide shelter for those experiencing homelessness. So everything they need will be in there. Um, beds with sheets and blankets and um, a refrigerator and a little microwave and plates, everything they need. They can bring their, their suitcase and move right in. These tiny homes really do hope to provide a big future for those in need. Every time someone sees it, they want a tiny house. Not everyone wants the program that goes with it. People can live in the homes for up to two years as they participate in job training, parenting classes, and education courses through the nonprofit's Life Recovery Program. Maxim told me that the Florence community is the real reason that this tiny home village was possible. It takes a village. It takes the Florence village to make the Hope Village. <laughs> Thanks to people like Aiden and many other Florence donors, the first four families will be moving into their new tiny home next month. If you want to help people, um, start finding a way to do it. For Carolina News, I'm Hollis Brescher. Yeah, the Aiden is a rock star there. Now, there isn't any word on when the village will be completely finished, but House of Hope is taking applications for those wanting to live in the new tiny homes.